So over here, you can see that I am in the home page of Microsoft Access, and then this is what you see. You can start by creating a blank database, or to make things easier, you can go around and choose from one of these templates right here. If you want to access more templates, you can click on new and over here, you can see that there's different templates that you can choose from. So here you can search for online templates as well. So you can go around over here. There's like contracts, as you can see right here, you can click back. There's like personal, as you can see right here. So similarly, there are different templates that you can choose from. So I'm just going to go around and type in, let's say, for example, school and press enter. And now what happens is that templates related to school will pop up. So let's say I want to keep a student record. So over here, you can see that there's a template for a, a student's based database right here, as you can see, with an icon which is representing school. So I can click on this. And once I do that, you will see the preview over here, just like this. And now once you're happy with the preview, you can go around over here and then see this. You can see uh, there is student right here and there's faculty as you can see. So I want to have students right here. There are two templates. So I'm just going to do students and click on create. And what happens is that it downloads the template off of the internet uh, and then it opens up the template for you right here. So it is preparing the template in Microsoft Access as you can see. And once it is prepared out, you can see that this is what you have. So you can enable the content and over here, you can see that this is what you have. So you can see that there's the first name, last name of the students, an email address that you can add in. And over here on the left side, you can see that there's related tables. So for students, there may be filters, guardians right here. There may be student attendance here that you might want to take, students and students and guardian information right here. So everything is set for you to simply get started with our student details, as you can see right here. So that is how you can use templates to create a new database so that you can immediately start working around with different type of data and manage data inside of Microsoft Access. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.